Now in session 16, we are going to see how we are going to assign users in a group. Now we have almost seen how we can define the permission for users, for groups, for a particular folder. Now we are going to see how we can add the users in the group because we have not seen any effect now. How we can add the users and the other users which are in group, they get the default permission. So for that, we will just see, we will create the user entries, we can change the groups for the particular users and we can add the users in a group and see the effect for this particular thing. So for that, I'll start my virtual machine and do everything practical so that you can have a look on those permissions as well. Now here, we can see the list of users and groups in slash etc pass wd. Very first, we can see the last three entries of my users which are available right now. So we have test and user one over here. So we know this test as having the user ID and a group ID, then home directory, and then your shell. Now, same way we can see the group. The group contains the detail about the group along with the group ID. These two are the users we have, and Linux we have generally as a supplementary group. The owner group is test and user one. So Linux, when you create the supplementary group, you can't find any particular user predefined, created, automatically created in the users. But when you create a user, automatically the owner group is created. So Linux is a supplementary group which we have created manually. Now, we are what we are going to do? We are going to change the group of a folder. In last session, we have seen how we can change the group for a particular user itself. And now we are going to see how we can add the users in our root group. For that, just looking at practically, what I'll do, I'll create a directory. And you can see this kind of formation on our group and other permission for a directory itself, where we generally get the default and we know how to change the permissions. Right? So here, we know this is a root, this is the owner, this is a root, this is a group. But who are the users inside the group? We have not seen that. We have not logged in through those users. We don't know how to detail about it. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a directory and we'll change the directory of the group and we can see the group permission what we have allocated is aligned or inherited to that permissions for the, those users who are added into the group or not. So for that I'll be creating one a directory. So I'll create a directory with my user, user1 and I'll create some direct for users so that I can align those users in this groups. So very first thing, I'll start with my user one. I'll create a directory with user one in my pre-created folder, your data structure, but we don't have permission for slash mnt or slash temp, uh, slash opt. So first we'll check whether we are able to do it. We won't be able to do the same because we don't have a permission because we rely into others for this group. Just we'll check if I'm creating Doing one folder mkdir I have the data here. It won't allow me. Why? Because we don't have permission. Even if I try it for OPD, you can check here. It even it will not provide me to create create any particular data. Be this is because we don't have permission. Just have a look on it. Like if I try to move into your OPD as well, it won't allow me. Can check by giving command ll what are the permissions here because we have to see the others permission because we are not in any other of the group so other permission only for T, uh, tmp we have full control so we'll create a directory in tp tmp so that all the users will be able to access it if i would have created in my home directory the other users won't can move in my home directory so i'm creating a directory mp data I'll create some files and folders in my MP data here. Now I'll create three files, empty files, file one, file two, and file three. Enter. And when I'll create one directory with name user one, or can give the recursive permission to directory. So I'll give recursive permission by giving command First, I'll check the permission of this particular directory. I'm data. This has two different, three different files now. 
So I have just checked the list of your files. So we will give command ch mode hyphen capital R space IMP data the permission which I want to define that will I want to define full control permission for my owner group I want only read and execute and for others I want deny. So for that I'll give permission full control 7 for group I'll give read and execute that is 5 and for others I'll give 0 right. So owner will be full control. The group will read and execute, they will be able to see the data but they will not be able to modify it or create any data and others will, won't be able to move inside the directory itself. So for that, we can set the permission by giving command first I'll list chmod space hyphen r and 750 Full control for owner, 5 means your read and execute for group and 0 for deny for others. Space your IMP data. Enter. Now I can check the permission. Read and execute for your owner, read and execute for group and others has deny. Now I'll see to add users in my user one, but I don't have many users in my this user. So first task I'll do, I'll create two, three users for this practicals. So I'm going to add some users here. So that we'll be able to add some users in the user one group. And we can see the effects after getting login feed from those users. And I'll create some users which will be treated as others for this particular group where I'll not be adding those users to user one group so user one is owner user one group will contain couple of users and existing other users will be the others for this particular folder so for that i'll switch to root and i'll create the user i'm going to create three users here by giving a user command add user user one user two or we can even create with some name sam Pam or you can even give different names as Sam or Tina that will be much better so we can move but we have to give it separately Sam and add user Tina so we have created the user we can check the user has been created in past WD or not so we can see the users which we have created here, Sam and Tina. Now we will be adding these users into my group. And for others, I'll be creating one more user, Rocky. So we have Rocky and the user test for others. So we can check three, but we also have one. So we can make it to five and then we can check it. So we can check tail hyphen and five and intro so that we can see these are the five users we have user one has is the owner sam and tina will be the group member and other remaining test and rocky will be the others so this is our plan for the practical so we are going to add sam and tina in the group of user one so user one wants this two users should be able to get access to state as I am the owner. For example, I am the user one. I want Sam and Tina should be able to see my data. So what I'll do, I'll add it, them into my group. While the other people in my office won't be able to get the data. So for adding the users in the group of user one, I'll see user one, I'll find it user one. In front of user one, we need to add those users. So I'll add Sam and Tina as a group member of user one. Basically, we can see user one is friend of uh, user one has friend Sam and Tina. He wants to give access to them. Now we'll move out of here. We have added this. Now for others, we know we have full We have deny permission. 
so first you will delete the password for all the user i don't want the password practically you should keep a complex password but only for here practicing you will be removing the password so it will be easy to switch the users but in live environment in offices uh, it is recommended that you should keep a complex password at least so these are the three users i have uh, we had and i have deleted the password for those users now very first i'll switch to user one and i'll check what the permission the user one is getting as user one is the owner of this particular directory. So as per that user one should get read, read and execute permission and user one group contain two users, Tina and uh, your Sam. So they both should get read and execute. They will be able to see the data, but they will not be able to create any directories here while other that is Rocky, test and any other user if you create, they will be getting deny permission because for others we have specified deny, there is no permission. So any user if you create a post, your test, Rocky and if you create new users also, they also get the deny permission. So very first I'll switch to user 1 and I'll check whether I'm able to get the data or not. So very first I'll move into cd space slash AMP and we have been able to see the data AMP data. I'll move into AMP data. Sorry, CD AMP data, and I will be trying to create a directory inside it. So for creating directory MKDIR, I'll create the folder by user one and enter. User one and enter. So we can see whether the directory is created right so it is getting full control permission it can see the data it can create data we can switch to other user tina so tina is a group member of user one so she should be able to see the data she should be able to access the data but won't be able to change anything in the data or delete any data so in amp data she can she's a, she's trying to create a directory she is denied if she is listing all the directories and files by giving ll or ls she will be able to get we see this particular data now if you want to open a file file one if she is looking at the content of file one if you have any content she'll be able to run this command file one there is no content so we will not be able to see it but if i want to move inside file one and edit it now file one and enter i am trying to move so you can see there is a warning below warning changing read only file right so that means you are changing a read-only file and if you are trying to change it and save the file and quit out of it, again it will prompt you an error. So you won't be able to save it without, oh sorry, with the changes you made. So we need to quit it without saving the file. So this is the restriction what we have given to the group user. Even we have one more group user that is your Sam. We will switch to Sam and so your Sam should also get the same permission here. Now I will switch to Sam, be able to get the data but won't be able to create any directory here. So if we are trying to create a folder with name, folder by Sam, it is getting permission denied but he is able to see the files and directories. Now for others, we will see, we will get login with our user Rocky. So I will switch to user Rocky after exiting my Sam here, so Sam is getting logged out, and now again we are back to switch user one. Again, we'll switch to Rocky. Now we can get login to Rocky. Now it's Rocky is logged in. Now you can see, yeah, I'm in the MP data, so it's not able to access the data content. If I'm trying to move inside MP data as well, showing your permission denied, so it won't be able to even view the file because they belong to others group same with the test user or any other user if you create they will be getting the default permission deny because for others we have defined deny here so we can even try with test so we'll move out of rocky we'll exit out so we'll switch to test and then we can this test has a password so i'll align the password for test and now we'll switch to our slash dmp slash cd you can say ls and cd space your mp data so it's not rebooted so we are not able to see the shell or home directory of your user but 
you will be able to get insight into it. But uh, as we know, IMP data don't have permissions, it will show you permission denied because it is again others for the user. So this is how we generally change the permission and this is the effect what we get after adding the user in the group. So whatever the permission you give for a particular folder after giving chmod command, you can use this one. So for IMP data, the user is user one and the group is again user one. So we have seen how we can set the permission for user group and others. So now we are going to do one thing. We are going to check it by using your root, whether root is able to get create a data. So if I've logged in through root and now root is trying to create a directory into okay, IMP data. As we, it is not a group member, it's not a owner. Still, it will be able to add the data because it is a superior user. Unless you restrict user root, root will have access to each and everything the user has. The personal data, any particular data, the root can move into. That's the folder which has been created by permissions and the root user's permissions. Now we are going to see how we can change the group of a particular user. Now why we require to change the group? Now here we already have user uh, Sam and um, Tina under the group of user 1. Now suddenly I don't want this two users should be able to get access to my data. So what I can do, I can even change my group as well. So how we are going to change the group that we are going to see here. So now the default user and group of user one is user one as a user or owner and user one is a group which contains Tina and Sam. Now I'm going to change the group of this IMP data. For changing the group, if I'm trying to change from here, even though it is a user one data, user one data will not be able to change the group. For changing the group, we have command cagrp and the group which we want to create and add and then the folder name. But you won't be able to change by using your standard users. Whenever you want to change any group, owner or any particular setting for our users or folders, so you need to move to root. Without more root, you won't be able to change any setting to it. So for this, if I'm trying from here, CHGRP Linux for folder or directory IMP data, it will prompt me an error that operation not permanent. For this, I need to switch to my root. Without root, I won't be able to do it. So I'm changing it to root. I just assign the password of the root and I'll hit enter. Once it's done, now I'm going to move into EMP data. Okay, so now we can just want to change the owner. So for that, first I'll see what the permission is. That is your owner is your user one and group is again user one. Now I'm going to change the group. So we can see the effect here. The user one will be changed to any other group that is Linux. So I'm going to change it to Linux. So for that, I'll give command chgrp space Linux space your data folder that is your IMP data. Enter. Now again, if I give ll pipe more, you can check the group has been changed only for this particular folder of user one to IMP data, while other user one data that is having the group as user one itself. That means only for this folder, we have changed the group to Linux. While we have seen the previous session, we can change the group of users. So automatically all the users created data will get the group used to that particular new group, which is assigned to it. But here we have changed the group only for a particular folder. Now, as Tina was a member of IMP data, uh, your user one now we have changed the group of imp data now the tina should not should be read as others now see we have switched to tina we have tried to access imp data it's showing imp permission denied that means now this user is treated as others for tina as well because tina is not a group member of linux right so user one is user one is we can assume that user one was working on amp data now either user one is quitting the company or like he has completed with the project work of this 
Twitter. Now he has to hand over this particular project to someone else. So what we can do, we can even change the group owner of this particular group. So by default, the owner of this group is user one. Now user one either is quitting the company or his comp he don't want to work on this project. He's less handing over to someone else. So we want to change the owner. So again, he has to change the group and he's handing over to Tina so he can give command ch own that is change owner Tina for folder or for directory mp data. Enter and you can check the owner of this directory here is Tina and group is Linux. Now, if user one tries to get access to the data of IMP data, which was owned by the user one previously, but he won't be able to get access to the data again. Now he is trying to move in IMP data, permission denied. Now if Tina was others, now she is the owner of this particular directory. So if I switch to Tina and I try to get access to IMP data, which to Tina, now she is the owner of directory, she should be able to get access to this particular directory now. Yes, she is able to get access to it. Now even she will be able to create the folder. MKDIR folder by Tina or owner. Right? So we have created, she has created directory, so she is having full control permission here. So here we have seen how we can change the group and owner of a directory and files. So when we change the complete user group, it will affect all the group. But if we change for a particular folder, it will affect only for a folder. This is what we have seen in our this particular session that how we can change the owner and group that should always be done from the root itself. So this is very important practical generally what we have seen, which is much more important for getting you know knowledge about your FSEL as well that is file level access control list here we are going to complete this particular session by ending up this session and start with the FSEL in next session